Welcome to today's Daily Dino Dave Adventure. I think you'll like this. This is a secret hike in Makoshika State Park. There are no trails where we're at. We're gonna go on a little treasure hunt and we're gonna go through some cool geology. As you can see, I'm gonna look for some cool stuff and I think you'll like it. Okay, if I remember right, I know there's a bone on the top of one of these hills, like on the very top, like Mount Everest top. Uh, we'll get you a look at this. It could be the top of that one or it could be even one further than back, but I know it's on the very top. We're gonna go up there to, for this purposes of this video. I really don't want to, it's gonna drain me, but we're gonna go to the top of a mountain right now, a total side track from this hike. But if I could find it, it would be something really cool to show you. Long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll. Well, we got a long ways to go. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Where am I going? I could slip and fall off that so easy. Let's do it anyway. Cliff. I don't know what I'm doing. There never is a right way to do things in the Badlands. It's only wrong ways. Oh crap. Let's see how muddy this is. Um, me, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. So, all right, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. We're gonna put the camera away for a bit. Oh man, I just made it. It would have made some good video if I wasn't in first person here. But you'd have to be an idiot to come out here with me. But anyway, made it over that. Uh, still don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's beyond that. Uh, looks like I did all that for nothing. The only way for me is to go back down and back up again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was bad. A little fall there. Caught my, caught my backpack. We're right, we're right. I'm still snagged. Ooh, I'm caught like a fish. I'm caught like a, all right, here we go. Okay, we're back. This was a bad idea. Ooh, I think I still have to go. Actually, I think that's it. I have to go to the very top of that. Okay, had to get some slivers out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on the other side of that cliff we just showed. Oh, hey, we got some blood. That's how you know it's a good hike. We're bleeding, so that means we're doing something right. And now I honestly can't remember if it's that ridge or that one. It might not even be any of them. Okay, quickly, I wanna show you this rock. Look how purple it is. I find, this is my favorite rock because I find bones associated with this rock. And if you bust it open, which I just did, look how gray it is on the inside of there which means the only thing, term I've heard on this rock is called ironite, but no, nobody can tell me more about it. But I think there's, this rock has a lot to do with what's going on here. Um, but look at, it's obviously oxidizing like a rusty nail. You know, how long would it take for this to be purple again? Okay, we made it. We made it up here. I'm exhausted, but this is the right hill. 
I remember it, and it's not even nothing to look at. It's kind of uh, it's kind of fallen apart over the years, but hey, let's look at check it out. There's a dinosaur bone on the top of this hill. There's the valley we're going to. Look at all that. That is amazing grace right there. But uh, yeah, it's just cool on the top of this hill. It used to be a dinosaur, sort of. I mean, you know what I mean. Well, I hope that was as worth it to you as it was not worth to me. That was a lot of work for a, for a dumb bone, but I thought it was just cool because it was on top of a hill. But uh, we got a long way to go today. I hope uh, we can get there before dark. But uh, in the meantime, I stumbled onto a little microsite. It's not much, but it's something to show you. And it's just down from this hill. But uh, I'm going to show you some little bones here that um, because I'm up here. I hiked all this way up here. Might as well show you a couple things. Normally, I would not get too excited about a Champsosaur vertebrae. But if there's ever a Champsosaur vertebrae to get excited about, this is it. It's, it's rather large compared to what I usually find. And uh, Champsosaur is an alligator-like creature, long skinny snout. Uh, it went extinct about 10 million years after the dinosaurs, so it survived a little bit. And I'm gonna stay here for a couple minutes and see if I can find a tooth or two for you. It is not like the best thing to show you because it's, it's, it's broken half right there. But that is a Triceratops tooth just sitting here. Okay, check that out. That is a jaw. You can see where the teeth go in. I think a fish jaw. So that's pretty sweet. There's a fish vertebrae. Oh, look at, we can just go hiking along in the middle of nowhere, find something small as this. Like, okay, so like right there is a ray tooth. I am never gonna finish this hike. It's gonna be dark by the time I get back. I can already tell. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's too much, in, it's too far in there. Okay, actually I got it out. This is, this is a good tooth. Okay, now you can see what a Triceratops tooth looks like. All right, where is it? Okay, little Triceratops tooth. Okay, look at that ridge. It's on the third of it. If it was a hadrosaur tooth, it would be right in the middle, but you can see a little ridge uh, on one side. So that is a Triceratops tooth. Now, normally you would see it come up right up there, but it's worn down. Here you can see parts of Triceratops teeth. There you can see a better one with the root and the top, but it's worn out. This is a Triceratops tooth that's already been worn. And uh, we found it, you know, I was just about ready to leave and it was just in, in that little, that, that, oh, you know, there's another one. Huh, well, I gotta get going. I'm gonna be here till dark. I might as well film this in case I bite it hard, but I gotta get down there. Don't ask me how I got up. Oh, I am not 18 anymore. Okay. Okay, I took a different way back. And I thought it was the right way, but no way. Like if this was in the movies and something was chasing me, I would have to jump off that cliff. Yeah, I think I found my escape route out there, but check it out. I was just on my way up. And I mean, it's just amazing that, I mean, this is actually a dinosaur bone. That's where I just was. That's where I'd have to jump off if the boogeyman was chasing me. And uh, that, would not, that would not end well. All right, well, that was a bad idea. Uh, that took a lot out of me and the and the hike has not even began yet. So there we go I call this the gates of mortar. This is actually the beginning of the hike and I haven't be, even began yet or like Probably five minutes in. I don't know. So but look how it probably just plowed right through that wall This crick did this crick just plowed right through that wall. I mean, can you?
check those conglomerates out. That is wild. If there are any geologists out there that can give me a clue on how that happened, feel free to comment below. All I know is that when this was deposited, it was close to the interior, the Cretaceous interior seaway. I mean, there's a seaway that, came, that went from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to Canada. And, you know, it's not too far away from here. We can go seashell hunting. I think I made a video of that. We might do one later. And uh, the Rocky Mountains, as they started pushing, the Rocky Mountains started to grow, it started pushing sediment, it started dumping sediment, which is why we have these badlands. This was probably near the beach. That's pretty cool looking. I tore my brand new shirt. Check out that valley over there though. Uh, I'm winded. I got a long way to go, but uh, we're leaving the creek now and uh, hopefully we'll see some dinosaurs soon. Can you see that? Can you see that? If I only found one of those in my life, it would be extraordinary. That's the third one I found. And if I only found that this summer, it'd be a good summer. But this is just the start of the summer. But that right there, my friends, is an amazing find. It is the tops of a Pachycephalosaurus skull. What is that you say? Ah, let's get a better look. That is it right there. So I'm going to GPS this and give it to the museum uh, and see if they can uh, come and get this guy. Um, this is really, really awesome. Uh, and the only reason I know what a Pachycephalosaurus is because I had a friend that looked like him in fifth grade. <sighs> that was really cool, but it's not the end of our adventure. We've got one more place to go. We're going to find this other bone that I, I know it's out here somewhere. I've seen it. You know what's nice about doing these videos is usually I'm out here by myself talking to myself. But now that you guys are tagged along, I'm completely legitimized. Sort of. I'm running out of steam. And uh, I haven't found it yet, but... Eh. That's kind of cool. Little hidden gems all over the place out here. All right, I'm getting close. I think I can find it. We're not at the cool dinosaur yet. We'll get there. Okay, right here we have Fred Flintstone's bowling ball. You can tell because he initialed it. I thought I knew where this place was. I'm kind of lost. I think I'm one hill over. I could either go around or up and over. I think I'm gonna go up and over. I'll try and do this one-handed. Uh, if I can't do it one-handed, uh, we'll go back. That's why I got this thing for, oh, I almost went backwards. To climb with, but that's what we gotta do. And sorry about the camera work, but just one guy. Okay, let's get up there. That's why I carry old blue here. Well, this was a bad idea. Although the view's good, I want to get to over there, but we've got sheer cliff. Uh, there's no get, yeah, I'm not getting down there. So all I need to do is get down over there. I'm kind of trapped. I did make it down alive. That was a bad idea. All right, we've still got some gas. We're gonna go find this thing. This is the treasure hunt, and uh, we're not gonna stop until we find this thing. Okay, things just got a little spooky. I think those are cougar tracks. Those are huge. Those are fresh. Oh, it's gonna hurt. The cougars walk in a straight line. Holy cow. Well, I'm out here all alone, folks. Maybe someday you'll see this uh, video someday. That's what this thing's for, fend off them cougars. There's a cougar out here. I better get home before dark, but my dinosaur's over there. Okay, check this out. Here it is. 
This is our treasure, we found it, yay! Look at that big guy. Wow! That's a monster. Looks like the hadrosaur femur to me. And we're about 50 years too late. Wow! So, check this out. Look at that glue bottle. There were poachers here at one time. I don't know, they didn't take it. It would be illegal to take this bone because this is in a state park. And I doubt anybody, I mean, I'll uh, GPS it, let them know about it. Honestly, I don't even think they will take it. I mean, that look, that's amazing. Just out there, just open. I mean, we go through all this dirt, all this, these badlands, and finally something just pops out at you like that. Oh, wow. All right, folks, that's our adventure for the day. I'm a little, I'm a little, I mean, I don't think that cougar is after me. I mean, I will never see him. He knows where I am. I mean, those were fresh tracks. I think he might've heard me talking to myself, making a stupid video and maybe went to check what's going on. But I've got to go hike through that stuff again. So uh, I'm going to have a cougar in the back of my mind. Okay, that joke's too easy. I'm not even gonna go there. And I got a uh, few miles to go, so I better get there before the dark it comes. All right, be sure if you like these adventures, like and subscribe, and I'll share some more all summer long. These are fun. We'll see you next time.